standing up right now. I don't want to wake my daughter up because I really need a little bit of a break. But at the same time, I'm trying to spend as much time with her as possible because once I go in for surgery, I am going to be recovering in the hotel and I won't be able to do like my normal mommy duties. So really quickly, I just want to show you the supplies that I picked up today at CVS. I will try to link everything down below. And I previously did a pack with me back in New York. And in that video, you can see everything that I already had ordered off of Amazon. And I also have a shop with me video. So I will link it here. So if you want to check that out, you can. I really got to get this done quickly. Um, I apologize if I look crazy. It's hard to do my makeup here. It's super hot at times. I took off my lash extensions because my doctor said they're not allowed. And I tried to put falsy on because I feel bald without my extensions. Um, but I can't put falsies on to save my life. And whatever things is just not working for me here so i'm gonna literally take all of this off as soon as i'm done filming i'm still in pajamas so i don't even know why i did this but um let me show you guys what i picked up at cvs and i'll kind of maybe combine it with the pack with me video and make it a like bbl supply list video <laughs> i don't know if you're new here please subscribe i am going to be documenting my whole entire journey so please subscribe to the channel i think i'm going to just kind of show you the products and maybe do like a voiceover because talking like this is a little bit weird okay um check me out on instagram i do have a surgery instagram as well as i'm going to be making a surgery tiktok so just be alert for that and i will be documenting everything on patreon so footage that i can't necessarily share here i will be sharing on patreon so i'll include that link down in the description box as well let's get into the video okay guys so we're gonna do a little pack with me action i am going a little bit crazy i have all of my bbl supplies here that i ordered from amazon but i'm also going on vacation for a week prior to the surgery so i'm saving that luggage for like my clothes during the week but i'm gonna have another luggage i think i'm gonna need another one um i do have another one in the closet that i'm gonna put like my daughter's clothes and any extra clothes and my camera equipment but i think i'm gonna be needing another luggage which i'll get tomorrow i leave on sunday it is currently friday night so i have this one empty i'm just gonna kind of run through and pack what i have from amazon so if you didn't see my shop with me video please go and check that out here in the shop with me video i ordered all of this stuff that you see here this is not everything that i need this is just what i ordered from amazon um and the rest of the stuff I will get when I'm in Miami. Well, I'm going to Fort for Lauderdale, but I'm going to go to Miami to buy the Fajas and stuff like that. So this is what I'm going to be packing and bringing with me from New York. So I have a mattress protector and I bought it in a queen size because I want to protect the hotel's mattress that I'm staying in. And then I think the mattress that I'm going to have in the hotel is going to be a king. I'm not sure. No, it's actually, it's going to be a queen. And mine is a queen. All right, so yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so mattress cover i don't know if this is going to be the order that i'm going to be packing everything here is the famous avocado float um i also have a canoe a bbl canoe that i bought from a different website i also showed that in the shop with me video but this is going to be the one that i take with me so i can have it in the hotel it's nice and condensed um i don't know if you can see that box over there but it's super huge and the bbl canoe is much larger than this so this is what i'm gonna take that's more travel friendly and i also got a pump so that i can blow this thing up with ease so again i don't know if this is gonna be the exact order that i leave everything um i got some rinse free bath sponges because i know in the beginning you can't really take baths um so this is a rinse free bath sponge you can add a little bit of water this is for bathing and shampooing no rinsing required perfect on the go baby care elder care and bbl care <laughs> it doesn't say that um i don't know if this is gonna work i've never tried it but i think this is gonna be good for me just to kind of wash up and feel a little bit clean and get all the blood and the gook off of me i also have the i'm gonna leave everything in the box if i can i don't know yet i also bought a 17 inch um ooh, that sounds freaky let me stop a 17 inch what is this called 
I'll link everything down below. I don't know what the official thing is, but it's a massage stick basically so that I can um, take out any like contours and make sure that my skin is nice and smooth and I'm not getting any clots and everything is just being pushed and like massaged out. I'm probably explaining this so stupidly, but yeah, this is super important. I am going to be going for wooden massages after I'm recovering, but that's just for now. I also got some Arnicare tablets and that's a two pack. So there's 120 tablets and this is for pain relief and for like bruising. But I also did get Arnicare bruise relief. So these are the tablets and then this is a gel. So Arnicare bruise relief and then Arnicare tablets. So next I got the advanced silicone scar sheets and these are going to be to help with the scar once you're ready to start using these. Um, I'm not sure, I have to do more research, but these are going to really, really help to minimize that scar. Scar or wound, wound has been healed for at least seven days. So after seven days is when you start using this and you just apply it to a dry, clean scar. Um, so every video that I watched recommended these, so I had to get these. It was an absolute must. Next up, I got some hydration. Um, this is Liquid IV. There was another girl that was documenting her journey, and she strongly recommended this. This wasn't in many videos, but I struggle with drinking a lot of water. I'm going to be drinking at least a gallon every single day post-op. Um, but this is just going to help to really make sure that I'm getting in my electrolytes and really just making sure that my body is healing and nice and hydrated. So this was a must. I got this Sexy Skins Belly Button Shaper. Some girls were recommending that you use the plugs that people use to stretch out their earlobes when they do that thing. Um, but I got the official Belly Button Shaper. It was more pricey. I will link it down below. But you do not have to use this. I just am a little bit bougie so I wanted to get the official one. Um, but it's just basically like a little plug that you put in your belly button so that it can get nice and round. I got some lipo foam. This is an absolute must. I'm going to buy more when I'm out there. I'm going to go to the Faja stores, buy some Faja, some more foams, and an ab board and a back board. So that stuff is not here today, but the less I have to bring with me, the better. By accident, I ordered some more scar sheets. Um, you can never have too much, so these are just a different brand. So more scar sheets. We got some antibacterial soap um, because you really must wash with like Dial or some type of antibacterial soap before the surgery and when you're washing up after the surgery, you don't wanna get any infections. So I got some Dial soap. This is for when I am using the bathroom. Um, so this is called Burylicious BBL Toilet Riser. And it says it right there on the package. This was $29. Obviously, this is me being bougie. You do not have to get all of this stuff. This is just what I decided to get. So Burylicious BBL Toilet Riser, $29.99. And it's just nice and firm and it looks just like the picture. It's going to be resting on the toilet so that you do not sit directly on your butt. Because as you know, after BBL, you're not allowed to sit. So I just figured this would be a lot better. I can wipe it down and basically use the bathroom more comfortably. How rude. Bromelain is what's found in pineapples. So I figured that this would be good to get. And then here, I'm not going to open it. I'll just put a snapshot of what this looks like. But this is my BBL pillow and the back cushion. But it's already packaged nice and neatly, so I'm not going to open this. Um, you can also use a boppy pillow. There's official ones that are not necessarily a boppy pillow. But I just, for now, I don't know. I was being very bougie, and I decided to get the actual BBL pillow. Again, you can tweak things and do things that are more DIY and affordable on the pocket if you're on a budget. I just was being extra, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and um, there's one thing missing. I gotta check to see if it's in the other packages, but I don't see a urinal here, so I'm getting a little bit scared because I know I ordered it. Um, but this is the vlogging kit. I will put a screenshot of what it looks like all set up. 
but this is gonna help to make my phone into a vlogging kit because my camera is pretty heavy to use so once I'm healing and everything I'm just gonna use this to vlog post op so you can really get the full experience and I can also be comfortable in the process so yeah thank you I mean you're welcome in the airbnb right now but tomorrow is my surgery i'm sorry tomorrow is my pre-op appointment and we're going to the hotel that the other doctor has me staying in and i'll be staying there for nine days so i'm just gonna show you guys the supplies that i picked up i already did like a pack with me when i was back in new york hold on Okay, so first up, I got some leak-proof training pads, and this is just to cover the mattress because I don't want to have any accidents on their mattress and get stuck with that fee. Um, so wee-wee pads, super important. This is leak-proof. I got the original OG wee-wee pads, like for animals, okay? Whatever. It was Okay, so you're also going to need a antiseptic wound cleaner. You really want to be cautious about getting any infections post-surgery. So I did pick up a 24-hour wound cleanser, and this is First Aid Antiseptics. I just got the CVS brand. There were a bunch of others that were recommended. There were some that didn't come with the spray bottle. I wanted something simple and just efficient, and even though it's CVS, it's still going to work. So I just picked this up, alcohol prep pads i don't know, know exactly what i'm going to be using this for probably like when they take out the drains or when they clean um all the lipo holes um just to kind of again prevent infection so i rather buy a lot more than what i need and just like not use it rather than need it and not have it so i picked up some alcohol prep pads i think this is super super critical i don't know Sorry for the nails, they made me take off all my gel polish and any acrylics. I don't know, I've been seeing other girls with um, post-op videos and they have their lashes done and they have nails on. I don't know, every doctor is different. My doctor specifically said to take everything off. So I also got some non-stick pads. Cushion protects and absorbs without sticking to the wounds. And there's 10 long pads here, so I figured this might be good. Again, this was like not on other people's supply list, but this was something I saw and I was like, hey, I might need it, let me get it. <laughs> I'll do an update video to say like what I didn't really need. I also picked up some Moderma with SPF, even though you're not gonna be exposing the wound to any sunlight, I still just figured, whatever. Um, so this is Moderma and this is just gonna help with scars reduces the appearance of old and new scars so i'm actually going to even be using this yeah whatever i'm just going to be using this in general because my scars from my previous bbl are honestly a little bit ugly and i didn't really do much to take care of it so this time around i want to do everything possible to ensure that i have the best results so moderma super super important I got gauze somewhere else, which we'll, show, we'll talk about real quickly, but um, I picked up some soft tape just to kind of keep the gauze in place. I really just want to do everything to keep the drainage to a minimum and, well, I want the drain to like come out. I want the fluid to come out, but at the same time, I want to do everything I can to close up any leakage as much as I possibly can within a safety measure. So I also got some cloth tape in case I want to seal the gauze down. After surgery, I think I'm going to have some chapped crusty lips, so I picked up some chapstick. This is the EOS Vanilla Bean Chapstick. Nothing fancy, nothing tinted. So in my previous video with the pack with me, um, again, I don't know if I'm going to combine it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I have so much footage that I have to like combine and turn into vlogs, so I don't know. But I also picked up some Hiba Cleanse. Um, I do have Dial Bar Soap, but I also picked this up because I've heard so many things about this and so many girls always talk about this in their BBL and Tummy Tuck journeys. So I picked up the large one. It's pretty large. 
it's pretty large there was one that was smaller and like half the price but this one is pretty large but i figured i'll be using it for at least the first month i don't know if that's necessary but the cleaner i can be the better so HIPAA cleanse super 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 important you can still use this together with the dial soap bring in a hair bonnet just to keep my hair up so i picked up a hair bonnet I also picked up some stool softener, so I got the brand Colace, Colace, I don't know, stool softener. I didn't use this during my last surgery, but hey, if he tells me to use it, I'm going to use it. Um, so, stool softener, super important because I think you're going to be constipated and stuff like that after. I also have Miralax somewhere here. I'm not going to be using this much, but I am currently in florida and i do have to travel back home so i kind of don't want my nips to get a little hard in the airport or anything like that because i get super self-conscious with stuff like that so i bought like a triple x or a double xl bra just that's super comfy super stretchy um not too much compression just comfortable um just to have on the ride home oh, oh it's okay um again I think I'm gonna need all of this I don't know because for the first 30 hours I will have a nurse there taking care of me so I don't know for sure if I'm gonna actually need this but I figured again I rather have everything and that's only for the first 30 hours I'm gonna be there for nine days post-op so I rather have all my own supplies rather than depending on anybody and I'm not gonna have a vehicle anymore I'm returning my rental car tomorrow so yeah I want to have everything on hand without having to worry about that I picked up, I already have some robes, but I just, I don't know. It just looks like a little doña, but they want me to wear something that I can either button up from the front or just tie. So I just picked up this like loose robe and it's light fitted because it's Florida and it's freaking hot and humid here. It has the rope, so I can literally just tie it in the front. When I wake up and I'm on my way home from surgery, I will have um, the faja on. So I think I can just put this right over it and be fine and covered up. I picked, I already have some like non-rinse foaming something, um, which I showed in the pack with me video. But this is cleansing cloths for sensitive skin and this is actually for the VJJ. So I just wanted to have this just to kind of freshen up or after I use the urinal, use the bathroom with the urinal. Um, then I can just kind of make sure I'm nice and clean. I don't want to get any infections anywhere in my body at all <laughs> So I got these again everything I got here right now is from CVS I think that's pretty much it for what I bought in terms of what I bought here from CVS I did vlog where I went to a Faja store Belleza Femenina and it was like a Faja store that was like really well known in Miami. So I actually, I'm not staying in Miami, but I went to Miami just for this store. So it was super awesome to just go and see there. So I'll include that in a separate vlog because the lady did a little like um, review of her store and stuff like that. But I bought a Faja. Okay, no. So I bought um, the ab boards. So this is like a standard ab board. I already have like two of these at home, but I wanted to be extra and have it brand new. So I bought an ad board. This is super, super important after lipo or a tummy tuck. And then I bought the one that goes for your back. So it has like the cupids, like the little bow. You can see the little image right here. It has the little bow so you can have like that nice indentation where your butt crack is about to start. Um, so I'll try to show these out of the package, but I want to keep everything in the original packaging right now. And if you keep all the original packaging, it has like care instructions and stuff like that. So I got that. I bought some more lipo foam. Originally I ordered some from Amazon, but I bought some more while I was at that store. And then I bought the Faja. So she gave me a 3XL because she measured me and she figured this would be really good and um, it would still give me enough compression. So I hope that she's right and I really, really trusted her because she seemed like she knew exactly what she was doing and I told her I couldn't just come back to Miami like the next day and buy another Faja if it doesn't fit. Um, so she ensured, she assured me that this would fit because I would still be very swollen. It would still give a lot of compression, but I am a big girl. And um, yeah, so she recommended this one. So I hope it works. If not, she said to just call her and we'll figure out how to ship one to the States, not the States, to New York. <laughs> but um, 
to get a bobby pillow but you know what i have to travel back and i already have the official bbl pillow i already have the official bbl um canoe at home to sleep for this particular period in the hotel i'm probably going to be using my avocado float i did want to pick up some wedges but i didn't have time to stop at walmart and look for them and again i tried to pack as lightly as possible because i was coming from new york to florida so i didn't want to have like a million suitcases as it is i already had four just for myself that's way too much um, so I didn't want to pack a wedge, but I will probably buy some wedges because you can't sleep on your back because of the BBL and you can't sleep straight because of the tummy tuck. So you have to kind of sleep like this. So a recliner is really going to be awesome or a gravity chair or avocado float. But all the avocado floats videos that I saw, they still used like a um bobby pillow in the center just to kind of help give a little bit more cushion so that you're not sinking to the floor i don't know whatever else i figure out i need i'll get it i'll probably figure that out in the hotel have it ordered on amazon so that it's already home by the time i get there i don't know i do also have a shower chair that's already in my shower back at home so that when i do want to bathe i'm already sitting down comfortable not having to worry about falling passing out whatever um, so that's pretty much it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I tried to do it as quick as possible because my videos can tend to be long. Um, so yeah, straight to the chase, hopefully. Please subscribe to this channel, support your girl, follow along on the journey, follow my surgery Instagram page because that would be super, super helpful. I will be making surgery TikTok, so please keep an eye out in the description box because I will constantly be updating it. And if I can, I will link everything in the description box down below. Everything can be found on Amazon or at your local CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, drugstore, whatever. Bye guys, thanks for watching.